Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to cleaning with jazz. I still hate it. However, the last video made me clean a little bit. So I thought, let's buy some more cleaning supplies and do some more cleaning. First item, the scrub mummy. So in my previous video, I showed you guys that we had a scrub daddy. And then I got comments saying you should try the scrub mummy. And I was like, is that a joke? Does that exist? It exists. It's from the same brand. It's still from Scrub Daddy, but it's a Scrub Mummy and she's double sided. Oh boy. Come out. Oh, she's so cute. So this is the Scrub Mummy. She has a solid pink side, which feels the same as the Scrub Daddy that we've got, but then she has a little soft side. So this is almost more like a scourer. Oh, I made a little heart by accident, that's cute. Oh, actually, okay, porridge maybe did leave a bit more of a mark than I was hoping for. And this bit of plastic, can you see that? Just there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I may have actually ruined our hob. Just cleaning on YouTube. <laughs> Looking a little bit grubby though, isn't she? Someone said to try putting my fingers in her eyeballs and using that, but honestly, I think this works better for me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that is very satisfying. Oh yeah, that is wonderful. Look how happy she looks. Thumbs up from me for this one, yes. Right, this next one, little bit weird. Um, okay, it's not weird, but it's weird that I've decided to show you me doing this on YouTube as though it's like a new thing, but it kind of is. I bought myself a toilet freshener, used a toilet freshener before, however, this is a special disc freshener, which I'm just so excited about because it comes with a little machine style thing and you put the nice smelly discs into the machine from what I can gather and then you push the machine onto your toilet, it sticks one on the toilet and when it's done, it's done. One of the worst things about using a toilet freshener thing is when it's done and you've got to put your finger in the toilet to take it out and I just really don't like that. This doesn't have a cage. It just sits there. So I'm weirdly excited to use it. Is all that, okay, I'm a bit confused. I thought it was discs, but I feel like the, oh, it smells lovely. It smells pretty good. Just smelling toilet cleaner, don't worry, don't mind me. But I thought they came in discs. But that doesn't look like there's a number of discs in there. It looks like one product. So I'm very intrigued. Okay, so we've popped this in here. Oh, it is like jelly in there. Can you see that? It is like jelly. It smells pretty good. So apparently we're just gonna do this and push this in. I don't really understand how this is working, to be honest. I don't know what this mechanism is doing. Oh! Oh no, okay, one moment, get back in there. Oh no, okay, I've broken it, oh no. Okay, <laughs> I've ruined it. Um, it's kind of like um, a, a tampon dispenser where once you've used it, you can't reuse it. Okay, we're gonna go through to the toilet, I'm gonna test this on the toilet. It looks like this, I'm just gonna push this onto the side of the toilet and see if it fixes itself at all. But I feel like I've broken it and I'm a bit sad. Oh! I mean, I guess that's worked. I didn't want to waste it. So I just pushed this against the toilet side and pulled it off again. And then I can just put this cap back on and that's ready for next time. But it is so different to how I imagined it. I imagined them as being little discs like solid, like this is really not solid. I like this and I believe you can get refills for this. So you can keep this container so that you don't have to throw the container away and you can just get product to refill inside. I'm beyond excited to use these. These are blind killers. Blind killers? What? 
blind cleaners. These are for cleaning your blinds. And we have blinds throughout our house, apart from in the kitchen, where we have curtains, which is weird, and in our master bedroom, where we have curtains, which is a little bit less weird. We have blinds. This room has blinds, the bathroom has blinds, downstairs has blinds. I hate cleaning blinds. But these look better than my method of dusting, which was half hoover, I have to admit it. Half of it was the hoover. It's apparently, slide in between your blinds, and I'm up for that. They look like they'll make it a lot easier. How do these? Oh, I am confusion. I don't, oh, okay, I do think, I think these are refills. Okay, okay, so it looks like this. It's great, you can clean two blinds at once, which actually isn't that much. In my head, you were cleaning three at once, but really, there'll be two blinds. Oops, I'm gonna test this on these blinds. One moment. So I'm going in like this. I mean, there's no dust on there. I guess I clean them. Oh, and they've left a little bit of residue here. Oh no. I mean, it's a swift motion. Oh, dust. They've worked. It's worked. I can see the dust. I like these. These are great. It, you just shove them in, you move it along. It's one quick, swift procedure. I'm gonna go around the whole house and just clean the blinds. I feel like this makes it a little bit fun too. This item, I saw a little while ago on TikTok and I was umming and ahhing about it for a while because it's technically for pet hair. I think they call it a chom chom roller. It doesn't say on this, but I'm pretty sure that's what people have called it. I have no idea how it works and maybe on seeing the mechanism, I'll realize it doesn't work for my hair, but I really want to try it. Oh, it's got little pet ears. Are they ears or eyes? Oh, they're like eyes. It looks like a frog. Okay, and I'm just gonna do this. How does that work? Does it roll? It doesn't even roll. Does it roll? It doesn't, oh, it does roll. Wait, I am tray confused. It just does this. <laughs> I do not understand the mechanism. I'm guessing some hair sort of gets stuck in this and then when you do that, it gets shoved in the roller. I think maybe my hair will be too long, but oh, oh, okay. If you click this, it pops open so you can see. We're back on the floor again. Got my chom chom roller. Just gonna... I don't think it did anything. This is a cleaning video, so I feel like you should be expecting to see some dirt. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to show you cleaning, you know, but I'm still embarrassed. Okay, I'm nervous. I don't want you to see. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I mean, there's a lot of dust in there, but also just a ton of my hair. Wow, there is so much hair in here. This is disgusting. It's not designed for my hair, but it's picked up a ton of my hair. I mean, if you've got a pet, I'm sure this would be even better because it's designed for pet hair. I don't know what the longevity of this is. I don't know how long it would last before it just broke down from the hair being tangled in there. But wow, wow. In true jazzy fashion, I've forgotten what I've ordered. Oh, I remember. Okay, so this is a pack of accessories. There's a lot of accessories in here. There's this lovely thing here. There is uh, two of these, a green and a blue little scrubby brush. There's, oh my goodness. There's like a mini blind cleaner. I wanted to say killer again. And then there's this as well. Oh, I don't understand. I seem to have broken it before I even had a chance to use it. All of these items came in a little pack and they're suggested tools for cleaning inside a sliding door. Now, in our shower room, we have a we have a like a bifold door to get into the shower, and cleaning inside that sliding panel bit is so ridiculously hard. This is nice and tough. I feel like this is going to do really well. The shower is not a pretty sight. It's mainly made up of Nick's beard hair uh, and trimmings and just general build up of shampoo and conditioner. It, but it's really hard to clean. So we're going to go ahead and put these to the test. 
This is the little part of the shower that just fills with hair and gunk and water can get under here into it but doesn't seem to go back out very easily so it just gets filled up to the rescue I'm hoping <gasps> I mean it's working can you see how it's just staying in all of the cracks anyway <gasps> wait now when I do this <gasps> oh my goodness Get yourself one of these. What the heck just happened? Gone. Boom. Need one of these. You need one of these. My new favourite shower device that I do not want to put too close to my face. But I think, I think you might need one of these. Genius. Just genius. This item Amazon actually suggested to me when I was looking up those TikTok products. Amazon suggested this. It was like, people who have bought these cleaning products also want this. And I saw this and thought, yeah. I want that. I'll join in, please. This is a baseboard buddy. So you basically push it onto your baseboards or what I'd call a skirting board. I don't know if that's English or American or if there's just two names for it, but I've never really heard it called a baseboard. It's always a skirting board anyway. No one cares. You basically push this onto it and slide it along. Whereas there's me on my hands and knees going along all of the baseboards. Why am I calling it a baseboard now? This will do it for me, we hope. Oh wow, okay. So, oh, okay. It's got like a, oh and it moves. Oh, okay. I'm thinking this is Velcro and I can stick on bits and bobs maybe. I guess twisted to here. Look at me go. Okay, got my extra long baseboard cleaner. I feel like an adult. Okay, and then, blimey, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> One second, stay there, please. Thank you. Okay, then I have these, or one of them, two of them. Okay, ooh, I do not like the look of that. That looks, it looks like old and used. So I just stick that onto there. Oh, I don't know which angle I'm supposed to go at. Maybe this angle? Um. Oh, oh no. Okay, I have not got the hang of this yet. I don't know what angle I'm meant to be doing this at. Weehee! Well, that's magic. No, it came away from the wall a little bit. I haven't quite mastered the knack of doing it. And also, it doesn't seem to have picked up as much as I feel is down there. But maybe the skirting board's just cleaner than I think. Maybe I've done a better job at cleaning skirting boards than I thought I had. I don't feel like I can give this one an accurate rating quite yet. I can't tell whether it's good or not because I feel like I need to master the technique a little bit. But if this does work, genius. I will no longer be on my hands and knees cleaning skirting boards. I can just walk along like da da da, all done. Another item that I've forgotten what it is, it says on there two pieces hairbrush, dot dot dot, iron use wood color new. I don't know what this is, so we're just gonna open it and I'm assuming it's gonna be something great. What are you? <laughs> what on earth is this? Hairbrush, hairbrush. Do you use it to clean a hairbrush? That doesn't look like something you'd use to clean a hairbrush. Like maybe this, I could maybe go along a hairbrush with this. And maybe these, but what is this? I'm gonna show you my hairbrush, but I do want you to understand I use brown dry shampoo. So the brownness on it is, is not dirt, it's color from the shampoo, but it's still gross. It's disgusting, isn't it? Actually, this hairbrush is genius because down the middle, it has a little, um, little something. So I can just go like this to start with and get most of the hair out. That is most of the hair gone. I've put this underwater many times and tried to like swish it around. Nothing really works. I just feel like I'm damaging my to my hairbrush. Oh, it's getting a little bit of extra hair out. Oh, dust is coming out. A little bit of extra hair has come out. I do not like this one bit. I feel like it would work even better if I did it under some running water. I'm so happy with this little tool. This hairbrush 
has not been properly cleaned since I got it because I couldn't get into the bristles. This is amazing. I'm so embarrassed with how disgusting this airbrush is. This is a little take on the one that we used last week. This is a sonic scrubber, but guess what? It comes with the drill this time. So it looks a little bit like an over the top electric toothbrush, kind of. That's what it looks like, but it's got four different heads it says on it, it cuts scrubbing time by up to 75%, which sounds amazing. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that didn't work. How do I get you out? I don't know what they've done here, but they've made it particularly hard. I don't understand. <laughs> ah, just put my nail backwards. I just want to get it out. It's got a button here. I don't know if it's sliding. Oh yeah, right, that's great. Let's see what other heads, let's see what other heads we've got. We've got this head, which feels very, very soft actually. This is quite tough. And then this one's a little bit softer. It feels almost more like a baby brush as opposed to a human toothbrush. Not that babies aren't humans, but it feels like a baby toothbrush. Then we have this little one, which is just like a little, Oh, oh blimey. Okay, these bristles are the strongest. Welcome to our shower room floor. Now, before I show you this next clip, please remember you're here to see me clean, so please expect things to be dirty, but also we have tried getting a toothbrush in this little divot, little crevice. It doesn't work as well. I'm hoping this is gonna solve our issue. Not this head though. I'm gonna change this head. Okay, are you ready? Oh no, oh no. Okay, the head of this is too big to fit down this gap. I have located a new crevice to clean. Are we ready? We're gonna add some spray. Splash of water. Oh, I mean, that is pretty good. Look at all the gunk that's come off of it. That's gross. This is shiny. It gets a thumbs up. It's definitely a little bit more detail work. Um, probably won't do this every time we clean the shower. However, for those little tiny bits that you really want to get into that require a toothbrush, but you don't want to manually use a toothbrush, genius. Or you could just go buy a good old Oral-B. You never know. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I really, really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me. It makes me super duper happy. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.